Right, hello. Thanks for joining me for this uh, playthrough, and this is my first experience with Hellblade Sinua's Sacrifice. I've probably just butchered her name, so forgive me if I've got it wrong. But maybe that, maybe not. I don't think it's sauna, because that's a really stain and gets sweaty. So, I think it might be Sinua. Who knows? Anywho. Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Senua! Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing from the dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she doing coming? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's all there. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Oh, no. That's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new. And they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? Over there. Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? She's in hell. Look, up ahead. You see it too? You promised you could. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. I have to say, the audio already is fantastic using the headset. Man, this is a creak, creak. You can tell it's going to be a tormenting game. Obviously, they've uh, the developers have worked at Cambridge University, and uh, those who live with psychosis. You'd think she would get used to it by now after so. So imagine. But the darkness. This game should be very, very authentic in that in that respect. Onto itself, growing stronger. Over her. Obviously, everyone's experience is different, more. but turn away. It's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. 
It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. Already, graphically, it looks stunning. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But then one expects a little bit more, a little bit less, should I say, from Ninja Theory. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. And you give us obviously Heavenly Sword, Enslaved on the Seeds of the West, Far deeper. the DMC reboot, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I know. The look of Dante wasn't everyone's cup of tea, rightly so, but the game itself I thought was brilliant, it had some great boss battles. There's no going back. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. I mean, the voices already are very clever. If you play this using a headset, the game actually recommends that you do. It does sound like the voices are in your head as real as what a headset in a game, a video game can replicate. But obviously, the main voice we've heard so far is a voice in Sanua's head. But they've also managed to get that so she's narrating as well. And I think I've got that already quite, quite cle cleverly utilised, should I say. Can't do anything yet other than walk and zoom. Focus. Look closer. Look. Use do your not eyes. forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim.
Oh, I can run now, I think. Here we go, I can run. Yeah, I won, but... Knives across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Hellheim. So, whose head is that? I assume it's a head. Of a skull, more than likely. There's no doubt about <clears throat> it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim, and the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, dearly. Water and sand looks fantastic. His soul still lives. She needs to save his soul. She wants his soul to be at peace. She needs to make him to rest. He's already dead. She can save him. There's nothing she can do. She thinks she's going to save The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alf. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. Oh, I'm resetting it, sorry. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. Didn't realize I was resetting it. <laughs> Dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel.
Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I will let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? It's just a memory. Drew? Is that you? My tales of the Northmen. They call me Druth. A liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> He's got me. Is my truth. Hmm? It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. To guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Look really clearly. Focus, Emma. Focus. Focus and you'll see. What happens if you focus? I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try and look for this symbol somewhere. It's near. Focus, and you will find it. It's in here somewhere. There's loads of them, but how do I tell which is the right one? Ah, yes, of course, with shadow. Very clever. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? <gasps> it worked. Six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She 
always tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. What good is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. And it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Caves are never good. Stay back. Look at it. You have to open it. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Call cool. first trophy. The Set fight the begins. Hela herself. The half rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Shh. Hey, up. Someone's here. And so, for the audio design here is. Fantastic. So I'm using the headset at the moment, a 7.1. My god. What's block? or dodge seems to have your light and heavy attacks
am I actually able to beat these? Or is this one of these fights that I'm not supposed to win? I'm not sure I was supposed to win that one. spread towards her head the seed of the soul until there is nothing left of her <laughs> all of her suffering will have been for nothing it's just a matter of time Dear me, may. Dark rot will grow each time you fail. If a rot reaches Sanua's head, her quest is over. Okay, so there's that essentially her health bar. And all progress will be lost. Is this an instant? A permadeath, shall I say? The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. seems like a good place to end this very first video and I must say my early impressions are very good I mean it looks stunning the audio is brilliant I haven't really sampled much of a gameplay but that brief stint of combat feels very refined and again wouldn't really come to expect any less from Ninja Theory so anywho keep look out for more videos on my channel including more Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice playthrough and if you haven't done already please like share and subscribe and you can even follow me on Twitter at Solid the Snake the same as my YouTube username so until next time my friends thank you and peace out <laughs>